Life has always been a little bit different in California, and one of the more interesting facets of college life there is called the Dream Success Center, a place where those residing illegally here in America are taking full advantage of another taxpayer-funded program designed to make their passage that much simpler. But what then about those who were born here, served in the military, and seem to be getting short shrift? Our guest is campus correspondent for CampusReform.org, the college news service that has been looking into this issue on several campuses across America. Welcome Gabriella Morangello to Midpoint. Gabriella, thanks so much for being here. My pleasure. Tell us a little bit about this, because this comes down to something called the Dream Success Center that has now been opened on, I believe, four campuses in California, correct? Correct. This is funded entirely by students out of pocket, student fees, and by taxpayer dollars in California. And what this does is it sends a message that illegal behavior is something that should be worn as a badge of honor. And it gives students, uh, you know, this certain resource that isn't extended to all students. And if you're going to do that, if you're going to give something to one student, it, to one group of students in particular, it certainly shouldn't be to those who are residing in this country illegally. All right. So then wait a minute. Why do they do something like this? And because if we're involved in California taxpayer dollars doing this and the taxpayers are going to say, why is my money going here? Why do they do this? Then there's got to be a reason they've got to be getting away with it legally. Well, the university thinks that it's their job to promote higher education to undocumented students and this isn't the first time that California has rewarded illegal behavior in the state. They currently allow students to take up to $20,000 in student financial aid and students in the state of California can pay in-state tuition. So this is part of a much larger trend. Now this is at Cal State Long Beach and there's three others in their system, correct? Just these schools. Yes, there's three other schools that currently offer similar resource centers for illegal immigrants. And one of the biggest issues that we've seen students at Cal State Long Beach express is that no such center exists on campus for student veterans. So what this is sending is a message that Cal State Long Beach essentially believes illegal immigrants are a more important segment of the student body than those who have put their lives on the line to defend our country. Now, when you and talk about leave California taxpayers outraged. When you talk about no center exists to serve students Student veterans. In other words, in at Cal State Long Beach, in these four schools, there is nothing here like this that basically would help veterans as they try to further their education? There is not an exclusive center at Cal, Spe Cal State Long Beach's campus that serves student veterans, similar to the one that is now serving illegal immigrants. What has been the reaction then of students? Because if this is coming out of student money and taxpayer money, I would imagine that somebody's got to be upset. Absolutely. Students realize that they're being treated as piggy banks to serve, you know, help fund universities' political pet projects. That's all that this is. And the Leadership Institute's CampusReform.org has been following this at several universities, including Rutgers University in New Jersey, where taxpayer money and student fees were used to help fund an admissions-only fair for undocumented students which is similar, it offered similar resources to what this campus center at CSU Long Beach is there to offer. What is in this Dream Success Center? What can the, the students get when they go there? Well, there's going to be academic counseling and career guidance available to these students, as well as uh, computers available for their use. And I spoke with a student who attends CSU Long Beach, and he said that this wasn't just a vacant space on campus that they suddenly decided to use as this Dream Success Center. They actually had to move other places around in order to accommodate this special resource center for illegal immigrants. After CampusReform.org did this story, what was the response from Cal State Long Beach? We have yet to hear from administrators at Cal State Long Beach, and we have reached out to them several times. And this is not the only place, because apparently there's also something like this that goes on on the other coast at Rutgers University, correct? Yes, there's the admissions fair for illegal immigrants, and at NYU as well. We saw students recently rally together, uh, hoping to create a scholarship fund that was exclusively for illegal immigrants. So that is concerning in itself because it says that it's not just university administrators who are guilty of putting illegal immigrants on a pedestal. It's actually students themselves who are championing for these special benefits. I can only imagine what will happen if indeed the taxpayers found, oh, but wait a minute, it is California. Sometimes with taxpayers, they never know where their money is going in the first place. Just kidding, people in California. Don't write me letters now. We know all about it, of course. Uh, <laughs> please stand by for just a couple of moments here because we're going to take a break, come back. We're going to turn to another facet of campus life. 
President Obama and his Student Aid Bill of Rights. And now taxpayers are eating yet another misguided policy. Come on, own up. How many of you out there actually still have, and some people I know are in their 40s, who still have debt from student loans? You're still stuck with it. Will this actually help these students get past all that money later in life? We'll answer that question tomorrow when we come back right here on Midpoint. <laughs>